The UNO Lakefront Arena is open for COVID-19 testing. Federal surge testing started this morning as coronavirus cases continue to rise here in our area. That's where we find WDSU's Morgan Lentz. She joins us now live. So Morgan, what are things looking like right now? I see a long line behind you. Yeah, Christina, the line behind me is long. It is moving, but if you really want to know how long it is, my photographer Brian is going to show you. There is just car after car. We've been here for a couple hours now, and the line has just continued to lengthen. And it started lining up. People could get here at 8 a.m., and it will continue until 6 p.m. And this testing site is different because there's no daily testing cap. So that means it will not close early due to long lines like we've seen at other sites in recent weeks. So how does it work here? You saw the cars, meaning this is a drive through testing site. It's open to anyone five or older and you administer the nasal swab test yourself. Now we're told a second surge testing site will open next Monday. That's going to be at the University of Holy Cross. So we will have two drive through testing sites in New Orleans um, simultaneously. And really that's in addition to our community based tests. So if you're not able to drive through, if you don't have access to a vehicle, there's still a lot of testing options out there in the neighborhoods across the city where you can walk up, take a bus, ride your bike. And here's an important tip. Take a look at your screen because this is going to save you a lot of time. There is an option to pre register for a test. All you need to do is go to do I need a COVID 19 test.com. Now it's not required to pre register, but it will save you a lot of time because you actually get to skip this long line behind me and go into an express lane. Again, not required, but something to consider. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News. All right, Morgan, thank you. Now to Jefferson Parish.